everyone. Thank you for joining us for this afternoon's NAC at Home performance. My name is Mitch Case and I'm with the National Arts Club. For those of you who are not familiar with the National Arts Club, we're a 501c3 nonprofit based in New York City with a mission to stimulate, foster, and promote public interest in the arts. Annually, the club offers more than 150 free programs to the public, including exhibitions, theatrical and musical performances, lectures and readings, and much more. For more information about the National Arts Club, you can visit us at nationalartsclub.org or find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. If you are interested in becoming a member of the National Arts Club or would like more information, please email admissions at nationalartsclub.org. This season, the club is honored to be collaborating with the Sphinx organization to present a series of classical concerts featuring outstanding young Black and Latino musicians. The Sphinx organization is the National Just Social, sorry, the Sphinx organization is the National Social Justice Organization dedicated to transforming lives through the power of diversity in the arts. You can learn more at, about Sphinx at sphinxmusic.org. Today, we are delighted to feature violinist Samuel Varga, accompanied by pianist Senya Karunachev. I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing that, but I'll include it in the chat box. Sam is going to be performing four works today, beginning with Beethoven Sonata Number no. 1. The titles for today's complete program are listed in the chat sidebar. And you can also use the chat to submit questions for Sam. We'll have a time for a brief Q&A after the performance. Now I invite you to relax and enjoy the music.
sharing your talent with us this afternoon. That was wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. It is a pleasure for me and I'm sure for my pianist to be able to play for you all today. She's with me today here. <laughs> you can come say hi. No, we both no. Can meet hi, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so we have a ton of great comments in the chat box. Everyone loved the performance. Um, and while I dig through those to see if there's any questions, um, do you want to start off, tell us where you are today? Um, I am in Columbus, Georgia, okay. at the and, Trump School of Music. Okay, the School of Music. And is that where, <laughs> and is that where the, um, or, is that, sorry, was that where the performance was recorded? Yes, at Legacy Hall, which is the, the concert hall of the school. Great, wonderful. Okay, so um, I'll start off with another question. Uh, when did you start playing and how, or how did you come to the violin? I started playing violin when I was 11 and I grew up in El Sistema program back in my home country, Venezuela. And I knew about the orchestra program because one of the conductors of the music center where I grew up with my musical studies heard me singing one day on a concert and then he invited me to be a part of, of El Sistema and he asked me if I knew about you know what a violin was and classical instruments and I was like ah uh, no nope. <laughs> so then after that we of course had this amazing opportunity to be a part of El Sistema and to study music under the tutelage of all these amazing social program for music education. That's wonderful. That's great. We're glad you've stuck with it. <laughs> and I see a question here from Mario and his question is, what is your best suggestion for violin students or teachers? What is my best? Yeah, do you have any advice for, yeah, for students learning the violin? Oh, I see. Well, <clears throat> I think that the best advice that I can give you is to come to study with Professor Sergio Schwartz at the Schwab School of Music. And I'm so honored that he's here with me today, accompanying me in the back and watching the concert. So if you are a teacher, if you are a student and you are working with kids, with violinists, I think that we have to be able to share with them more than just what comes to violin, there is something else that is music, that is the empathy of the professor, the, the, the passion for what we do and finally finding purpose through music. So looking up for this path and finding the right people to guide us in this process is one of the advice that I can, can give to them. Great, I think those are wise words. Uh, and we have a question from Brenda and her question is, can you tell us a little bit about your violin? about my violin. Yes, I play on a Mario Gatta, and this violin is a loan from my professor, Sergio Schwartz. So I play on one of his instruments. Okay. Well, it sounded beautiful. Um, and the question, how did, you so, how, how did you select today's program? And also, were they songs you already knew or did you learn them for today? Um, 
by choosing this this program of course i was asked to perform for for the national arts club and i had to like okay i only have one month and a half i have to see what repertoire i have to play so um my professor and i agreed to find something that could best fit not just my personality but the contrasting styles of music so i learned the first beethoven sonata i never played it before this is my first performance of it the whole sonata um i studied the chacon but i never performed it either so this is the first time i'm playing it um the recitative scherzo by chrysler is a piece that is a part of my um current repertoire and i keep performing it um and of course the william grant still we wanted to honor um african-american composers and this repertoire that is also a part of what we can share at the sphinx competition and, and the organization so for me it was very important to to rescue the values of all these music and traditions being able to show my musicianship and the work that i do with my professor through my music and these composers that's great thank you and i don't think anyone would be able to tell that today was your first time performing some of these pieces. <laughs> it, it looks like you have performed it many, many times. Um, and a couple final questions. Who are some of your favorite composers who you didn't perform today? Uh, my favorite composers that I did not perform today. Um, definitely Brahms. Um, I really like um, Britain, <laughs> even though I haven't had the opportunity to perform any of his repertoire in concert. Um, and I definitely love Bach. All good choices. <laughs> then my final question for you is, if I'm not mistaken, you have your own foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Um, our nonprofit organization is a 501c3 foundation that enriches communities and society through the power of classical music and is an initiative that um, was created last year in 2020 after the Sphinx competition. Um, this program in, in our organization is giving the opportunity to many students in South America and other countries in the continent to be able to access music education instrumental lessons workshops and many other kinds of training for personal artistic and musical development our organization is trying to create a platform that can allow students to grow holistically and in and, and in a in a way that is not just about playing the violin going to orchestra or trying to get on a on a share in an orchestra as a position it's about being able to find our path, to find our purpose through music, and having the means and the resources in all the ways to be able to succeed because we believe that there is a place for every student and for every musician in the world within the musical industry. Thank you for sharing that. That's very important work. And I'll add one follow-up question. How can people find out more about your foundation or just you as a performer? Do you have a website or social media they should follow you on? Yes, in my um, social media, you will find me in every platform as Samuel Vargas Violin or Samuel Vargas Violinist. And for the um, foundation, I will just write here our link. Great, oh, perfect. Or, well, we already have it. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Great, so yeah, we encourage everyone to find Sam on social media, check out the Samuel Vargas Foundation. Sam, again, I want to thank you for performing for the National Arts Club today. I want to encourage everyone to check thank out you National so much. Arts Club. Welcome. Um, I want to check out yes, everyone. Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah, check out uh, Sam's website, check out the nationalartsclub.org for more programs and everyone enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Bye, Sam. Bye, thank you.